my friends how are you hope you all are safe remain safe always i miss you guys down here can't wait to reunite again with you guys okay let's get started today we are going to look at a new topic which says controlling memory with variables controlling memory with variables lesson four so i want you to sign in go to the portal studio.code.org studio.code.org and sign in using your email address and your password okay when you're logging you have your class code you follow me up all right so i'm gonna play you this video so that you will understand what variable means change and update as you use the app. For example, a, a simple game can keep track of your score and the number of lives you have left as you play. Apps utilize the computer's memory to do this, and learning how to use that memory when programming is a really powerful skill. The most common way to leverage a computer's memory is by creating a variable. Now, a variable is, is just a container for storing a value, and once created, the variable is stored in the computer memory and it can be used and updated repeatedly throughout your program. As an example, let's use variables to keep track of the score and the number of lives remaining in a hypothetical game. Creating the variable is really easy. You use the word var followed by a label that you want to give the variable. You can choose any label you want, but it helps to choose a word that describes the variable that you want to store. So let's label our first variable score to keep track of the score. And then we can create a second variable to keep track of lives. Remember these labels. You'll need them later in order to use the variable. We can assign a value to the variable using the equal sign, like this. Let's set our starting score to zero and our number of lives to three. Remember, you only need to use the var at the time that you want to create a new variable. A common mistake is to use it every single time you want to refer to a variable. Also, be sure to avoid mixing up the order when you call your variables. The labels got to appear on the left, and the value has to appear on the right. Like this. Not like this. Often, you'll want to create a variable and assign it a value right away. There's, there's a really convenient way to do this with one line of code. This is sometimes called initializing the variable. It's important to realize that this single line of code is actually doing two things. First, creating the variable, and then second, assigning it a value. Let's take a moment to talk about the equal sign. In many coding language, the equal symbol is called the assignment operator because you use it to assign a value to a variable. And you're probably used to seeing it in math, but in programming it's a little bit different. If you were in math class and you saw this, something would definitely be wrong. Score can't possibly equal both 5 and 7, but this is not math class. With code, a computer is executing a set of instructions, one after the other, so this would just tell the computer to set score to 5, and then on the next line, set it to 7. In an effort to avoid confusion, programmers often don't use the word equals when we see this sign. Instead, they use the phrase, gets the value. So when we see a statement like this, we could read it as score gets the value 7, or score gets 7 for short. Some programming languages avoid the confusion entirely by representing the assignment statements with a sideways arrow, like this. To use a variable, you just refer to it by its label. Anywhere the variable name appears in the program, the value currently stored in the variable will be retrieved from memory. The tricky part is that when using a variable, you often can't see visually what its value is. To bypass that problem, you can use console.log to display the value like this. This is a really handy trick, but remember there's a difference between showing the value of a variable and writing out the variable's label. 
when text appears in quotes, you're telling the computer to write those literal ASCII characters on the screen like this. But on the other hand, without quotes, the computer assumes that you're referring to a variable called score, and it will attempt to retrieve its value. If you haven't made that variable, then the computer will give an error. Oh. Okay guys, let's get started. Variables. Variables means what? A container for storing values. Values are what? Numbers. 1 to 100 and so on. So the container you use for storing values is called what? Variables. So the instruction here says, let's get started with the most basic example of using and controlling the computer's memory with variables. The toolbox has a couple of new commands for working with variables. We've given you some starter code that does three things. Create a variable called score, assign the, zero, the value 0 to score, display the value of the score to the console. See hint below. Okay. So now this is what we're going to do, all right? You are going to add another variable, assign it a value, and then display it to the console. Use the starting code as a model for what you need to create now. Create a new variable by dragging out the variable block. Change the name of the variable from the default x to lives. Set the value of lives to be three. Add console log messages to show the value of lives. The output in the debug console should look like this. The value of score is 0. The value of lives is 3. Okay, let's get started. Now, in this topic, guys, we have to be making use of codes. We have to be writing the codes instead of snapping the function blocks. These are called function blocks. Okay, now we will be integrating both of them together. We use the blocks, we use the words, the codes also. All right, we use the function blocks and we go over here and check the words, the blocks. For example, this is the code. This is the code that was written. Now you go to show blocks, okay, so that we see the blocks. Now this is the first one that was given, okay, the variable. Is score and the value is 0 okay that is the variable is score and the value of the variable is what 0 that is score gets 0 console log is used to do what is used to display the output so console log the value of score is what console log score now when you look at these two console logs one have the quotation mark all right now this that have the quotation mark is going to display what this message the value of score is but this one doesn't have a display a quotation mark it's gonna be what is a variable is a variable called what score so it's going to display what the value of what the variable and the value of this variable called score is what zero are you getting it okay so for example let's click run so that you will see what i mean the value of score is zero have you seen it here the message displayed the value of score because it is in quotation mark but over here instead of displaying score it displayed zero zero is the value of the words of the variable all right so what we are told to do here is to create a new variable by dragging out the variable block all right so let's drag out the variable block this is the variable block you drag it out you put it here okay 
You can go over here, show test. Have you seen it? Variable x. X is what? Lives. Change the name of the variable from default x to lives. You remove this and type lives. Lives. Okay? Now, the next is what? Set the value of lives to be 3. Okay? You come over here, you click enter. I want us to type it. Lives is equal to 3. Semicolon. Okay? Now you go to your show blocks. It's going to show you the block exactly. This is the block. Lives gets 3. Lives gets 3. Okay? You continue. The next one is a console log. Console.log. Console.log. Quotation mark. The value of lives is. Come over here, you add the semicolon, okay? You check the block, show block. Have you seen it? Console.log, the value of lives is, okay? Now let's snap this. Console log message. Either you type it or you do what, or you use the function block. So, console log message, the value of lives is, is what? is lives lives is equal to what three so the value of lives is what lives so you come over here you erase everything you type lives all right now why we removed the quotation mark because we don't want it to display what this word lives we want it to display the what the value of what lives and the value of lives is three so you run okay and that's it same thing the value of score is zero that is it the value of lives is three finished you click finish okay puzzle five do this We've given you some code with some errors in it. Look at the error messages and try to figure out the problem. Run the program, locate and fix the error. When you get it right, the output to the console should look like this. This is the output in the debug console. Okay, now we are given this. Let's run it first to find out the problem. Run. Okay. It have an error message on the debug console. Oops. We can't find out what apples is. Perhaps you meant the string apples with quotes. If this is meant to be a variable, make sure you declared a variable var apples. All right? So the problem is from this, apples. Now let's debug this. Let's debug it. Var apples gets seven. This is the variable called what apples gets seven. Okay. Console log apples. Var oranges gets thirteen. Console log oranges. Okay, but the problem is from the apples. Now, when you look at this, this is what, what type of error is this? Syntax error, okay? Because we typed it incorrect. So, you come over here and debug this. You can use the show text, okay? Console log, apples. You change this. A, double P. 
apples and the yellow triangle disappears var apples gets 7 variable apples gets 7 okay console.log apples variable oranges gets 13 console.log oranges but when you come here you have uh, the small o that is the lowercase o you change it to capital case okay you show your block now all the yellow triangles have disappeared let's run and know whether we will get it correct that is it correct 713 you click finish Debugging variables. Debugging variables. That is finding out the problem in variables and doing what? Solving the problem. There is a simple command called write in the UI controls toolbox. This is write. That is a fast and easy way to display text in the app itself. The way you use it is very similar to console.log. That is, it's trying to tell us that write and console.log are the same thing. They have the same function. Let's debug another problem using write instead of console.log. Both of them are used for displaying what? Test. That is, to display your output, what you meant. You've already run into this problem, but it's worth mentioning again. To display the value of a variable, you should not use quotes, correct? Notice the difference between these two statements. The comments next to each line explains the difference, okay? Write score will display literal characters score. Write score like this without quotation mark will retrieve the value of score and display it. The same function with what console.log. Do this. To solve these problems, you should only add or remove quotation marks. Run the starter code, locate and fix the problems. Your goal, make the app display what's shown at the right by only adding or removing quotation marks from the code given. So they want us to have exactly this output in our debug console. Let's run the message. Okay, syntax error, unexpected. Syntax error, that is typographical error. We typed something incorrectly, okay? So now let's debug this. You click reset, you clear your debug console, okay? Var, the variable score gets seven, okay? Right, the value of score is, this is correct, the value of score is score. Score is what? Score is the variable. Now, the value of score is what? The value of score. The value of score is what? 7. So, the value of score is, you remove the quotation mark here. Make reference to this. Write score this way it will retrieve the value of score and display it. So you remove this quotation mark, okay? You remove this also, so that it will display seven, all right? Now the next one, var, the variable lives gets 20. Right, the value of lives is lives. Okay, when you come here, is supposed to display this with quotation mark but there is no quotation mark here okay so you add your quotation mark to the value of lives quotation mark quotation mark close this tamam you come over here you remove the quotation mark here you remove the quotation mark here so that it will display the value of lives because the value of lives is 20 okay now having done this 
all the yellow signs and all the red signs have disappeared now when you click your show blocks it's going to show because it doesn't contain error anymore show blocks these are the blocks variable score gets 7 right the value of score is score variable lives gets 20 the value of lives is lives you run it that is it the value of score is 7 the value of lives is 20 the same okay so we will stop here guys the next class we will continue from puzzle 7 okay so take your time you go through it again you practice more so that you will be perfect thank you see you in next class Thank you.